aging often slows our bodies <laughs> down. We get weaker, we get slower, we do less, but that doesn't have to be the case. Retired nurse Pat Gallant Charette is living proof. 207's Beth McAvoy is here now with her story. Good evening, Peggy. Good evening, Amanda. Many Mainers know that Pat got started a little late when she was 48. That in and of itself is impressive, but at the age of 68, Pat is healthier and faster than ever today. What I usually will do is just a 100 warm up. It'll go nice and slow. Pat Gallant Charette has never been too worried about speed. I am training and losing weight and my goal is to be faster, and I am getting faster. Until now. I'll be 69 in a couple of months. I'm faster than I've ever been in my lifetime. In February of 2019, Pat made her second attempt to swim Cook Strait in New Zealand. I had perfect conditions to start. This was the last leg for Pat to be able to complete the Ocean 7 Challenge. So I could see uh, the island where I had to finish. After 26 miles and more than 12 hours swimming, it was over. And it's getting real rough. The winds happened to pick up and the current started to be adverse. And it would have been impossible for me to reach the finish because of the currents who was pushing me backwards. Pat had been on a waiting list for three years to swim the 16 mile stretch. If I would have been a faster swimmer, I would have made it to the finish line. When Pat got home, she started making changes. Mixing it up for different strokes. My goal is to return slender and faster. Pat is currently waiting for a cancellation so she can return and tackle the swim again. I'm hoping uh, that when I return to New Zealand that it will be successful. But if not, such is life. You know, you just go on to the next swim. Pat got her start marathon swimming with a Peaks to Portland swim when she was 48. I was filled with a lot of self-doubt. She swam in remembrance of her brother Robbie who had passed away. He was also a swimmer. And I remember looking at all these young slender athletes and I remember saying to myself, Pat, what the heck did you get yourself into? At the time, Pat was a busy mom and a full-time nurse. She swore she would never do the swim again until... Something special happened that very first swim. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I said, you know, this is, this is really nice. I think I'm going to do this again. And she's been swimming strong for the last two decades. I think I'm surprised as anyone else to see here it is 11 world records later and uh, I'm still going strong. In 2018 at 66 years old, Pat became the oldest woman to swim the English Channel. The English Channel? That was a Guinness record. Oh yeah, she also has four Guinness records. Her marathon swims have taken her all over the world and put her in some radical conditions. When I was swimming Lake Ontario, I was starting to get the effects of hypothermia. Molokai Channel, when I got bumped in the middle of the night, that was, you know, a little hair raising. One of the most surprising things about the marathon swimmer is that she very rarely goes in to deep water. When I was 13 years old, I had a very traumatic event. Pat and two of her brothers went clam digging off of Pine Point. We went way out on a sandbar. And before we left the house, my mom said, you know, be careful of the incoming tide. But the three kids lost track of time and were soon surrounded by water. So we had to swim for it. And being a young teenager, I had absolutely no fear of the water. And we started to swim. All of a sudden, one of my brothers screamed shark. By the tone of his voice, Pat says she knew he wasn't kidding. And I panicked. And as I looked, I could see something right behind me go under. And in my mind, I thought, that's the shark. I panicked. I couldn't swim. I thought I was going to drown. And all of a sudden, about 10 feet in front of me, what pops its head out of the water was a seal. And still, more than six decades later, I only swim in waist up water. When she trains, she stays close to shore and swims parallel to the beach. So the only time I swim in deep water is the day of the event. So how can she swim sometimes more than 24 hours in deep water for her marathon swims? She says it's simple. I put everything on the back burner. I still have the self-doubt when I go on any of these big swims. Every swim is dedicated to her late brothers, Robbie and Johnny. And I'll be standing there and say, Pat, you know, that's you know, 32 miles ahead of you. And then I just calm myself down and say, yes, but you've trained for it. 
you can do it. Now get your butt out there and do it. And at almost 69 years old, Pat says things are just looking up from here. I have no intentions of retiring from marathon swimming. Pat trains five to six days a week for about an hour right now during the holidays. And as soon as they're over, she'll ramp those trainings up. She'll go to two or three hours a day. It, she really is an inspiration though, honestly. She is amazing. And I love the story about her fear of deep water. I didn't know that. So her training is right along the shore. That's just incredible. And she says it's actually better because that's where there's a little more currents and there's more waves, but people will come and visit to train with her and they'll say, Pat, we're going out a couple miles. And she's like, no, thanks. you can, I'm not. <laughs> she's amazing. She really is amazing. What a great story. Unbelievable. Thanks, Pat. You're welcome.